I'm always up for drinking again. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Podcast number three. Mm. You start. Okay, so we are, before I fall off my stool, we're drinking, hello everyone. We're drinking um, Posen, Michael Posen Chardonnay, um, 2016. It's Russian River Valley. So it's a nice Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. It's a good pre-dinner Chardonnay and I think it'd also be good with fish like a light meal mm -hmm. it's not a heavy oaky buttery Chardonnay no, it's not. It's not we're, we're still doing that Sauve Blanc type Chardonnay that's mm -hmm. not Sauve Blanc yeah yeah. So, yeah it was going to be gin and tonic but oh god the weather the tonic. weather I know I shouldn't as a Californian I know I should not complain about rain yes we're not being flooded or anything like that god bless the people in the Midwest right but I, I send them dry thoughts um, but when I'm over, over the gray oh my rain. Gosh. I feel like we're living in Seattle. So. Oh yeah, it's like 50. I mean, hi degrees. Seattle, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, I just, this is not why I live here. I feel like it's. I started I, singing Christmas songs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sit by the fire and curl up and knit weather, which yes. unfortunately none of us can really do. I have time to do that, but yeah. Uh, I'm Jeanette. I'm Joan. How are you? I'm busy. Work has been crazy busy. Yeah. Uh, crazy. Like weird things. Like um, the goals are all mating and crazy and <laughs> drove. <laughs> so they're literally mating right outside my window. So, or they're fighting over Is their Gary territory. <laughs> <laughs> and they're fighting over their territory. So I'm opening the window going, okay, goals, like, go away now. But seriously, it's been crazy. And, goals and they're me. loud. Oh, yeah. So they are disruptive. And then um, my other little funny bird story, since I work at a natural history museum for... Sorry, I kicked the table. Our three followers. No, but... Um, no, we have more than that, but go ahead. So I, that's my day job is working at a natural history museum. And my job is never about the taxidermy or the birds or anything like that. It's it's like today I spent my life in spreadsheets. So that's my, right. my sweet spot. So I get an email on Saturday, you know, make sure you pr pull the condor out of the freezer oh yes how did the condor, condor do out of the freezer. oh no wait a minute was it the condor that you defrosted the other day yeah or was it wasn't no, so, it, it was, was a california was, condor, condor which are, condor. which are amazing beautiful so, birds yeah. and almost yeah. were almost um extinct yeah. at one point they were in danger but yeah it did so, it defrost okay or you it defrosted just, just it? fine yeah. um it defrosted just fine but you should have seen me like ah uh, did okay. it smell but not as bad as you would expect oh, for being good. in the freezer for 10 years. That's good. So, yeah. I mean, so that's my job is never dull. And there, so I literally went through a freezer looking, opening, oh, nope, that's a mammal. <laughs> oh, nope, that's a gull. Nope, that's a, that's a different blackbird. So just, you know, it's never dull. Um, yeah. Well, I have, I, did I send you on Mother's Day my the photo that I took of the... Oh. What did you do on Mother's Day? Um, Not that anyone cares, but knitted, we haven't. We get, we can get catch up. Knitted in red, but that's but, the perfect Mother's Day. But this is what I saw on Mother's Day. Oh, 
that's beautiful. It's. Um, I wonder what kind of nest that is. A hummingbird. Oh, so really? literally, really? that little egg is the size, like half the size of one of those leaves. So it's like the size of like half my pinky. Yeah, I saw the, the hummingbird sitting in it right now, as a matter of fact. Oh, cool. But I thought that was like the sweetest thing. Yeah, and that's cool. I've read up on this because it's a ruby-throated hummingbird. That that's only one of two eggs it was probably going to lay. So hmm. it, there's probably another egg under there. And the bird, the only reason why I know that the bird has moved off the nest since I've seen the egg is that every once in a while it faces a different direction. Are you sure it's a ruby-throated hummingbird? Well, that's all, the only ones I've ever seen in my backyard. Anna's I could be wrong. Or Anna's it's is got, super it, it has the red shimmery yeah. thing. Which yeah. is why I'm thinking that's Ruby Feather. <laughs> oh, see, this is where, like, I should know my birds better working in a natural history museum. I know Anna's, hummingbirds. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. anyway so let's it, move on I don't know, from birds. Be. Anyway, birds, yes. Yeah, that's so, cool. Anyway. Okay, my shawl's off. All right, so. I, I did strawberry picking on Mother's Day. Did you take B-roll? A little bit, yeah. Maybe maybe oh, we'll put it and in. I'll, I'll share the picture. Oh, and I took another one. I don't know what I did. But I thought that was so cool. Wow, California you see, like, condors. Little... Yeah, that's yeah. that's amazing that you got that shot. That's cool. It's right over the pond. That's it's like cool. on a branch that goes right over. So anyway, cool. I was pretty excited. I'm glad you're giving a good home to the hummingbirds. Yes, yeah, so I've been protecting the hummingbirds. Good. So anyway. Anyway, okay, so knitting? sorry. Sorry, knitting. Oh, yeah, knitting. Knitting. Okay, so we have had over 250 views of our first episode, Aww. which is like so exciting. Yay. So thank you all for the love and support. And we have 46 subscribers. Aww. Hopefully 47 now that Lucy, we told Lucy to subscribe. <laughs> my daughter, my oldest one. Yeah. So, um, Thank and 21 46 subscribers. Yes. That's awesome. Isn't that amazing? And then 21 followers on our group in Ravelry. So. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, pretty cool. It's our little knitting community. It so is. far, so good. It's so nice to have everybody's support. Yeah. I think nice they just tune in for the wine, though. <laughs> I don't know about the I bird the know. bird chatter. They're probably gone, the so we should get to knitting probably. Okay. So yes. knit one, sip two. What's today? May twenty third. We're mm -hmm. on podcast number three. Number three. Yep. So you wanna you wanna no, go? I want. You okay. Try. What am I wearing? I am wearing uh, my Vertices Unite shawl, which mm -hmm. is a shawl by Stephen West. Probably everyone in the world has heard of it. Um, I, so the pattern gives you two options. I'm sorry, option I'm going to fall for, off my stool if I don't adjust oh, don't, it. So just keep talking, that. keep talking. Um, <laughs> sorry. So, uh, the pattern gives you an option of like a large or a small version. And I actually knit 80% of the full size large version because I'm kind of short. It's so pretty. So I just wanted to do, um, <laughs> I just wanted to not do the whole thing, but I didn't want it to be small. I really enjoyed knitting this. This was so much fun and way outside of my typical, mm -hmm. you know, I don't typically wear a lot of pattern. crazy pattern. So um, the yarns I used were the light was a Yarnic yarn. I mean, they're all on my Ravel Ravelry page. Um, this was Primrose, Sweet Georgia, Lamb Strings yarn. And this was just a Madeline Tosh uh, light that I had. Madeline mm -hmm. Tosh light? Twi no. Tosh light? Is that what it's called? Madeline Tosh. Why, why is that? I'm having a brain fade about what it's called. Oh, I can look it up. Oh, okay. that's okay. Going. Madeline Tosh light. You know, the single. The single. Single it's what? Single, single strand. Single. You know, the single ply. No think, other plies. Yeah. It's light. Yeah, I think you're right. Madeline Tosh light. Yeah, yeah, in the oak colorway. But, but then again, I'm the one that looked up the hummingbird, so I've got to look up yeah so that's it and i wear it all the time because i like green and i wear green a lot so i'm wearing that and then i'm wearing socks but trying to get show you my socks might oh, no. be too difficult <laughs> yeah we i'm wearing grand central socks which is a knitting expat design and in madeline tosh twist light which is the the um, plied fingering weight yarn that has um, 
that has nylon in it. That's it. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, wait. There. There, in so the Shire cute. colorway. There. The colorway's pretty. I'm you so get happy you're not a dancer. The... your feet would smell. Yeah, Tosh Merino light. That's what you were looking That's for. That's what I was looking That's for. That's Tosh you. Merino light. There's also Tosh Mo light. Oh. <laughs> and there's Tosh Twist light. But this is Twist light on my feet. Okay. And merino light in the shawl. So that's what I'm oh. wearing. Twist light. Yep, you're right. How about you? How about me? Um, I'm very grumpy. Hi. Oh. You're wearing a beautiful shawl. I know. But I was trying to finish my my But tell us what tell All right, us I'll this talk first. about this one. <laughs> so this is what is this? This is a um, Melanie Bird pattern. Mm. Uh, you know I'm bad with names. It's Caress My Soul. That one. Where did you see that? Oh, yeah, under <laughs> Effos, Caress My Soul. I'm good, right? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I even know your knitting pattern. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, yeah. You. I always rely on you to know the names. So this is the Caress My Soul. There it is. Um, and I made it slightly longer pretty. because I'm so tall. But I love it. Made it out of plucky tomato jam. Mm -hmm. And I got the yarn from Stitches West. I can't, I made it really long and I kind of feel like I wish I hadn't made it quite so long, but I can still wear it. It's no big deal. So, but I just, I love the drape. The drape is amazing. Yeah. And the movement of the yarn. Plucky's, Plucky's like one of my faves. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, is there anything else? That's a Plucky Sport. Primo Sport. Primo sport. Nice. So, yeah. So, okay, you go. Uh, I don't have that much that's done. What I that's finished. It. So, these yeah. don't really count for this podcast because I had already finished them before our last podcast, but I oh, forgot, but you forgot them. them. So, but these are okay. the socks for my daughter who lives in Denver. So, she'll have socks so just in time for summer. You did Although, such a good job on that, the tension. Oh, I mean, thank you. Oh. Although, it did just snow there this week. So, this is um, Gage Dye Works. Gage Dye Works, white and light colorway, I believe. Let's see. Notes. Um, yeah, I didn't put it in my notes. It's on my Ravelry page, but I'm pretty sure I'll it's the white it. lights colorway. And it was really fun to knit. It's very nice yarn. And it's the vanilla is the new black pattern. So that little um, heel. Mm -hmm. So that was one pair that I, I finished those before our, la our other right. podcast. Right, our podcast number two work. and left them, yeah. And then I finished these socks that I talked about last podcast, and these are Hermione's Everyday Socks in uh, oh Knit Circus Yarn. What size needle do you knit on? One. This is a one. I think that's 2. one. 2.25. Because mine are not, I don't have any of my socks, so I've got a pair on my feet. Mine are not this tight. This is awesome. I'm a pretty tight knitter anyway, yeah. so they're kind. They get kind of bulletproof. But these these are Hermione's everyday socks. Uh, Knit Circus Greatest of Ease is the base, which is awesome. And these were a gift from my niece Amy. And the the yarn. Amy, don't look. Oh no, the yarn, not. Four. Oh, the yarn was. Oh, no, I'm oh keeping the yarn. it from. She just gave. <laughs> Gave me the yarn. Was I supposed to knit her something? <laughs> no, no. I thought you said they were a gift for her. I need to make her chicken yeah. socks, though. It's oh, it's yeah. a story. I need to make her chicken socks. Yes. So, Amy, you need chicken socks. Um, so this is the Just Beat It colorway. I haven't blocked them. I don't really block my socks if they're not gifts. And no, I agree. So uh, I used, oh, in my notes, I used, I did two at a time. Toe Up is my favorite and I used a German short row heel so that's those do you want to talk or do you want me to keep um, it's all socks that I finished I didn't finish anything but socks that's good because I didn't even finish the dang leg warmers that well, I was nearly okay. done with but and then I finished my Rose City rollers um, in the Monarch in what are these Rose City Rollers, See, Hedgehog Fibers. What? I have to look at notes. You're really good about Hedgehog Fibers yeah. Monarch colorway. Remember we had the whole Monarch discussion? Right. I bought this yarn from Simply Socks Yarn Company. And it's, I, I don't love knitting with it because it's a little splitty, but it's good to wear. It's good wearing sock yarn because I have another pair that I knit. So the funny thing about these is I knit the beginning on Magic Loop size one. And then I switched after I did the 
the heel flap and gusset, I switched to size nine circulars, and you can kind of see where my tension changed. If size you look. nine? I mean nine inch circulars, size one. Oh, okay. I was gonna say nine inch circulars. Dang, that's you tight. can kind of see where my tension changed, but I'm not. I mean, it's minor. It's not that oh, big of a deal. Like it. I don't know if you can no. see it. Really, I can see it. But what the funny thing was is. So I didn't put markers where the beginning and the end, and I just knitted nine inch. I don't love nine inch circular knitting. Knitting like it's not as much fun. No, and you yeah. only do one at a time then too. Right? Yeah, um, but I had yeah, which yeah. isn't as fun, but yeah. it does go fast. Really? So yeah, it's so much faster for me. Why? Just because you go around and around and around and around. Oh, you mean versus doing two at a time? No, versus magic loop or two at a time. You know, you're not changing oh. needles. You're just going around and around yeah, and around. Yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. faster for me. Yeah. But I didn't want to take the time to put in um, markers. Markers. Yeah. So my toe on each one is a little tweaked. Like, so it's just a little off. Like, yeah, so I didn't yeah, get yeah. it exactly right so do you but, walk crooked when you wear that yeah <laughs> i haven't worn them yet because oh. but like you can see yeah if you look back here how it's kind of a little a little off but i did that with a pair of mine we're not a little off though yeah <laughs> mine were like and i should apologize like we don't we're working on our lighting and sound and all of that but but yeah so that was so these will be around the house where anyway right. and so if they're crooked they're crooked it doesn't yeah. matter so that's that Well, well, okay, so everybody saw socks. what I posted on Instagram yesterday. I thought I was going to have it done. I can't even remember what the name of it is now. It's the Hohi Locatelli V-neck. Understated. That one. Yeah. See, okay. you're better at names than I am. I'm telling you. This is I don't one. know why I remember that. That's really weird. <laughs> anyway, so I have, yes. I mean, we compliment one another. <laughs> yes. So I I think I redid the sleeve like four different times and I think I'm going to redo it again. Really? Well, so first of all, remember I had a yeah, problem yeah. with the sleeve. Explain the problem so, because it might help someone. That's true. So I did the understated card or um, V-neck boxy pullover by Hohi Locatelli. And after joining the front and the back and doing a couple of rows i tried it on and the underarms were just way way tight so we talked and you said go ahead and and pick up your your stitches and try it maybe maybe it'll stretch whatever it, it was just too uncomfortable and it's one of those sweaters where you have to have something underneath it so i knew i needed that extra ease so the whole thing apart we the did whole it thing? well the whole thing up to the to the join of the front and the back um lengthen the armhole which was successful but then i did the sleeves do you have it where is it i don't i'm i'm it, I, it's in time hot so it's in the other room yeah. i'm like i'm just so okay we're pausing i'll have it, it so, done so john can get no, her okay, you can no, go no, ahead no. And so john can show you her actual sweater and not just talk about I'll it just talk about it okay so i redid the armhole um, which I'm happy with. But the then, depth, it wasn't deep enough. Is yeah, that right? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, because basically what you do is you knit the front and the back until it gets long enough so that when you join it, it creates the armhole. And so I had to go back and knit more length in the front and the back to get a deeper armhole. So then I picked up all the stitches and I... I followed, followed the directions because you're supposed to start decreasing right away. Um, and I did that, but then I tried it on. And this is the beautiful thing about doing top down. Mm -hmm. Gotta love it because otherwise I'd be so frustrated I'd stop knitting sweaters again. So um, I decreased after eight and then eight rows again. After every eight rows, you're supposed to decrease. But then the sleeve got really, really tight. So I started to not, I didn't start my decreases until here. Um, so that's a lot more than eight no, stitches. No, that's okay. Um, but it's still kind of tight. Mm -hmm. Then I made it longer. So I, th I'm thinking, and I, I decided I don't like the length. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm, I think I'm going to bring the whole thing back. I don't know. I kind of want more space in the sleeve itself. So I might go back to like here and increase, increase. Mm -hmm. and just give myself some more space. And then not decrease at all and make it a three-quarter sleeve. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes what I do is when I pick up extra in the 
in the like corner area uh -huh. so as not to make a hole. Uh huh. And then I don't decrease it as yeah. soon as this was. I mean, I literally picked up on, like exactly, almost yeah, it looks exactly really good. every single yeah, that space looks really I could. Good. So I mean, like I know there's a little bit of yeah, you could big ink. stitches here, but those have to be just pulled in. No, because that's, that's where the, that's no big deal. Yeah. That's so. you could increase just in those first, you know, increase right. here, increase right. So I think that's to. maybe what I might do just to give myself extra space. Um, it's so then pretty. the other thing that I did was, um, I, I again tried to add, tried to add more length because I'm tall, but then when I tried it on, I don't like it, so I went back to the original length and I'm doing a split hem, yeah, that's nice. because I like to have more length in the bottom in the back. So I did a split hem, so where I've left off is, is I need to start my, um, my ribbing probably in the next couple of rows. I, I can't quite decide how much more length I want, because the ribbing's going to be about an inch. Hmm. What do you think? Start it soon? Yeah, I would, and then yeah. I just continue it further if. You yeah. want the ending to be the same? Yeah, I'd like it to be about the same hmm. length. So, anyway, so that's that. And then I have the the V-neck. Um, I have to finish the V-neck. And I'm it's like literally... I'm I'm happy with it, but I'm, I'm literally down to... I have like these two balls for the neck. One of these is the sleeve, which is just the other half of the sleeve I've already done. And then the other one is the rest of the body. And I have like another ball tied up in here someplace. It's like that big. Um, so the extra one from the body should be more than enough for the yeah. V-neck. And then I'll probably just make it, although if I'm going to rip back on the sleeve a little bit. Yeah, your sleeve's going to be plenty. shorter. Yeah, yeah, I'll have plenty. So, but I love this. It's, so it's, again, it's, it's magpie, yarn. swanky, sock. Oh, it's magpie. That's right. Yeah. I, In what color? be it. Um, swanky DK, not Swanky Song. Siren Song. And this is the one they said is so popular. I was so happy I got it. We got it at Stitches West. So happy. So I'm like, I I want to get some Magpie Worsted hmm. next. I think that's, I want to do the Traveler. The one by, what's her name, that does the, um, it's, I tried it on at Stitches. Okay, well, we'll come to yeah. it in our yeah I'm dream knitting. Yes. Anyway, so that's <sighs> you've been knitting and unknitting. Some weeks are like that. I, I mean, I can't tell you. <laughs> Some weeks are like that. that. Bloody sleep. No, but you know what? the The thing is, is that you want and this it to is, be right. Yeah. Well, this is where I think I'm not a good sock knitter because I'm like, oh, it's gonna be on your feet. Who cares? And then it comes out, and the heels like a. It looks like a Picasso. By the time <laughs> I'm done with the sock. But this, I'm like so much more of a perfectionist when it comes to the sweaters because we well, spend so much. Look, absolutely. Well, you want to look nice, and you spend so much money on the darn. You want to love it. You yes. want to feel good in it. Absolutely. Yeah. So no, I 100 percent agree. But. It doesn't work so well when you have a podcast and you want to knock it out so you can show no, everybody. No, it's not but. so simple, but that's not that's not real life, right? I mean, we all have busy lives, and so it isn't like how much you can get done I fast. I like to live in a yarn fantasy world. Me too. I mean, isn't that the fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, dreaming about the next projects, but um, yes. Yes. I have been knitting socks because it's all I have the brain space for. When I get home after working a lot, of hours or difficult decisions or the stuff I do other than just watching goals mate out ah! the window. <laughs> I could think of a few things you could be inspired to knit after that. <laughs> There's that whole like X rated thing on Ravelry you could be like <laughs> No, I am like Little just go condoms. away. Yeah, go away goals. Go away. Mate somewhere else. Fight somewhere you else. You should they knit can... a goal like decoy. <laughs> And try to and see if one of the male gulls gets frisky with it. <laughs> yeah, no, I I do not want to attract them at all because they drive. I know. Yeah, they're loud. Yes. And they distract no. me. Well, that's why so. they've got all the um the, par the falcons and everything. Yeah, they have a falconer the, now. Yeah. Is it at, in PG? In PG, they have a falconer. Only at this really? time of year they hire a falconer, oh, and he was out there today. But today I saw a gull swoop the, it was a hawk, swoop the hawk. 
the hawk was on a roof well, and the falconer was right there and the goal was like ballsy goal <laughs> i'll show you uh, yeah, i'm right. not afraid of you uh, anyway that was way too much nature well, they, talk i'm sure for all have, of you <laughs> but they have, they have peregrine they have all those over at the landfill too yeah no it's, so, it's, it's to try to keep yeah. the goals oh, yeah. at bay get it but on ball <laughs> We've, uh, we've only just started. We've only just begun. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay. okay so, what are we so talking what about else next? are you working on? Um, Anything else? So, I'm still working on my my Julie's wrap because I just brought it out because you were saying how you need something that's mindless, and this is garter stitch. And I love garter stitch for that. <sighs> yes. Or so stocking it in the round. Or stocking it in the round. Yes, that's been the sweater it was for a while. It was stocking it in the round. So, and it Who was is a nice this going to be for? Me. Of course. Of I mean, course. that's how she, <laughs> Yeah, that's I how all my stuff don't. is. Like, I, I knit the occasional cowl for the girls and a scarf for Warren, and I knit my sister a hat. But it's and okay that nobody's interested in my knitting. I'm Gary good with likes it. socks. Um, <gasps> oh. And Catherine likes socks. Yeah. I'm not sure if Anders and Sophia, the significant others, like socks as much. Andrew, I think mm, he worries about them, he told me. Oh. Yeah, he well, worries that, that he won't take care of You know them. what you need to give... <laughs> don't tell him it's a lingerie bag. But you need to give him a lingerie bag and tell him that that's what he puts his socks in after he wears them all. Yeah, I mean, in a cold uh, honestly, wash. I don't care if they get... Like, that's what they're I for. I know, but if, when your but, mom made you something, you know, Yeah, so, he would feel bad. Yeah. Like, so... Um, wait, you hit on something that made me think for a second. I was just going to say, I have been working on a few things, but because I my brain likes to switch projects a lot, mm -hmm. I I just switch from project to project, and I so then it takes a lot longer to get things done. But of course. maybe some of you are like that, too, out there I saw in the podcasting world. I stupid leggings, which I only have a few more rows on, because but I've been I focusing have to on want to knit the thing. Like, I don't want it to be a job. Oh, see, now I just want to knit. And I like to get it done. I don't care what it is. Just oh, see, now I, I'm and... like, do I want to knit green or do I want to knit orange? Do I want to go round and around and around? Or so you're do saying I you're a pattern? little fussy when it comes to knitting? Yeah, oh, which is See, why... now I pretty much just like the straight knitting these days. I mean, I used to do well, patterns. But that's what I mean. Like, sometimes yeah. my brain just wants straight knitting, and yeah. sometimes my yeah. brain will handle a pattern. That's true. That's true. Um, I say yes. I, I so, that. let's see. I My big love sweater, which I've talked about every single podcast, did not get a lot of love. It got a little love. It's Big Love by Ankastrick. Um, and this is not a great photo. It doesn't show the detail. So I did finish the body, the ribbing. The ribbing has, sh you start out the ribbing on the bottom immediately with short rows. So I did finish that. Um, oh, cute. Yeah. And, and you so, tried it on and everything? Yeah. So the Good. short rows, the way it works is so that it it's longer in the front than it is in the back. So you see uh -huh. the ribbing in the back okay. and then the front is longer. So this is what it looks like. And I tried it on. It's all good. It really um, good. Yeah, it's going to be cozy, a cozy little grandma-ish sweater. No, I don't um, think it's going to be grandma -ish. And that's okay. It's short. I mean, I, like, look, like, I am a grandma age. So that would be totally fine. Um, and I have a lot of, yeah, so I have a lot of ends to weave in. It's Mirasol Sisa yarn held double with Shibui Silk Cloud in the cove colorway so and it's um full length sleeves you're putting on yeah full length sleeves so i started the sleeves this is as far as i've gotten magic loop um yeah so simple just simple i just i haven't wanted to work on it as much well it's well i was gonna say it's also getting coming on summer so you don't want well, to work on heavy for stuff a but few it's been cold that, so. but the last couple weeks has been cold yeah. it's just i didn't have the brain space to pick it up and make sure i was working the pattern correctly right. i know it sounds dumb but is this a gary bag yes <gasps> this is yeah Show gary this. Made me th I, i've because shown it at, like every single week look at week. the little corner he did yeah no he oh my gosh yeah no it has a has pockets and like pockets and the whole nine so cute yeah 
So that's my big sweater project and I really want to move on to a different sweater but I have made myself continue this one and it's not that I don't want to do it it's just I'm, I just I'm not it's just not fun to knit right now and I'm probably not gonna wear it although it is cold enough right now I can wear it yeah you know what it's in PG it's cold enough pretty much all, all year round it's especially true. you it's you're true. always cold I mean, that's true you know. I am always cold so yeah, and then I worked on my hoarfrost shawl a little bit. That's a pattern by, <laughs> makes Joan smile every time. Hoarfrost shawl pattern by Andrea Mowry. It's just so, like, you know, juxtaposed. Hoarfrost. Yeah. <laughs> and this pattern, it's the same type of thing. It's not mindless. It's, so cool. it's um, this is where I was last podcast, so that's how much oh, I did. Oh, that's cool. So... So this pattern goes then into this lace pattern. Who's the yarn? Um, Miss Babs Yowza. Oh, that's right. In the right. yonder oh, colorway. So Purchased at Stitches so West uh, three years ago, four yeah, years ago, yeah. something like that. It's just so, so And this soft. little charm is from Cakery Bakery Charms, which I said last podcast mm -hmm. is very cute. Little and this is Marina. 100% Marina, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever she does. Super washed. Well, um, she does blends. Yeah, but it's Yowza, so I think yeah, that is yeah, so. So I don't know if you can see the lace pattern. It'll be a nice cozy shawl and a pretty color mm -hmm. when I get it done. And you can see just a little bit of the tonality in the yarn, which is really cool. Yeah, no, like it's, it's great. not overly. It's good to have a pattern like that with the tan dyes because mm -hmm. you get to appreciate that, like you said, the tonality of the yarn. Yeah, it's very pretty. You and know? so this is just another not. It's not necessarily mindless. Like I have right. to have brain space to pay attention to. Right. It. Right. Right. So that doesn't always happen. And then, mm. so because I, I usually have a sweater, a sock, and a shawl. And a shawl. Right. So, um, so you did the socks, you did the sweater, and you did the shawl. What do you got in there? Well, another sock project because all my sock projects are done. So the funny thing about this sock project is, well, is how I screwed it up. Uh -oh. So that's my story. But anyway, this is the sock. I made it a year ago, and it's been like just, or you I did started a it a year ago. Yeah. I did, I, so it's a hoe. So this is when I decided I want to. I mean, I know what a hoe is. A half object. Oh. Have you not heard that? That's a half object. It's a hoe. So here's my hoe. Got it. Uh, do you keep it in a ball sack? <laughs> I do not have a ball sack. I should have a ball sack. Gary needs to make you a ball sack for your hoe. Right? I know, right? Um, so, so with this, I decided I'm going to, I'm going to knit, I'm going to get used to knitting on nine inch circulars. Mm -mm -mm. So this, this, I knit entirely on nine inch circulars a, uh -huh. about a year ago, somewhere uh -huh. in there. And this was the first sock yarn I ever bought, which had been in my stash a while. It's, um, what is it? Brew City Yarns, mm -hmm. and it's a Hamilton colorway called World Turned Pretty. Upside yeah, Down. It totally it's looks gorgeous. red, white, and blue. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's got the little <clears throat> gold in there just from mm -hmm. Hamilton, and that was mm -hmm. such a great show. Um, and World Turned yet. Upside Down, I love it. And mm -hmm. so then this is um, a little bit I had left over from a different sock project. This is Zen Garden Serenity in New Navy. And it's it's like a cashmere blend. But I notice you don't have a heel. Yes. So I decided that I would also do an afterthought heel. I've never done an afterthought heel. Mm -hmm. So I've never I've never done that. So I still haven't done it because you see it has no heel. So this so was the grocery girls have like a whole video or something someplace. I think Kirby Werby has the video oh, okay, okay. and they direct you to Kirby Werby and oh, I've okay, heard okay. I've watched it it's, it looks oh, super no, simple they, they did it at the last um little gathering that they had oh, in Washington yeah State, it looks I super think. simple yeah yeah so so this languished for a year Woo, I'm getting hot no more shawl <laughs> yeah no more sweater, no more sweater. um whew. so um it languished for a year just like this so so this morning before work, I usually knit a little bit before work, I thought, I am going to start my second sock. So I did. This is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> Started at the toe. So later, I looked at my Ravelry project page yeah. and realized that I had started this one. Come down. down. Oh, <laughs> oh no. This one is toe up. And well, you know. this is, I did a rounded toe. At least I, I did decent enough Ravelry yeah. notes. I did a rounded toe with this one, and this is a square toe. 
So That's I okay. Just, I'm, I'm just going to rip it out. I mean, no, I've done like... No, no I've done see. a couple of minutes. I mean, it's minutes. See how they go. No, I, I want them to match. Uh, so then... Like they're going to be in the shoes and under... See, this is why I'm not a good sock knitter, because I'm like, oh, it's going to be underneath us. So... Yeah, so that's that. It's, oh, I can't wait until you. And this in. is like talk about bulletproof. Like this one, I my tension was so tight. I don't wow. even know if I'm gonna get be able to get that on. I, was say, I don't think I can get my <laughs> foot in here. I know. I don't know if I'm gonna Jeez. be able to get it on. No, it's not too bad. The the Zen Garden yarn is so soft. It's got cashmere really in it, um, really which is not great for heels, right? But yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't but really wear okay. out my socks. Bed, bed and socks. then this is the yarn in so the cake. Pretty. This Brew City yarn. It's beautiful. So pretty. I mean, really, really beautiful. Soft. Yeah, that's going to be it. nice in your blanket. Yeah, very first sock yarn. From yeah. watching the Grocery Girls, I heard of them, and this is the very first yarn that I ever, ever... Where did you, yarn where did you get bought. it from? Etsy? Um, I can't remember if it was Etsy or directly from their website. Mm -hmm. I just went, I remember hearing about them from Grocery Girls and that's where I bought it. Yeah. And this is living in my little skein in the big wool bag, which I loved the rainbow knitting stitches. And so she has some fun creative bags. I bought that on her website actually, but I've seen her at Stitches West. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm at with Whips. whips. Those are my whips, as That's Chevy Ralph says. I don't do that well. Whip, I don't do that. Like, no. No, she she's like, those are my whips. Oh, that's not what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the the dance. Oh, I don't know that. The nae -nae. And then the whip, whip. Well, you know you what? Those dancer girls. girls. Yeah. Dancer girls. <laughs> watch me, nae, nae Oh, Watch me whip, whip. They do this. <laughs> wow. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> well, my girls are not watching this podcast, thank God. Okay, so I got a fabulous Mother's Day gift. Oh, you didn't tell me this. I just, okay, so I just got it last night, which is why the plastic is Did still on it. Did you buy it for it. yourself? No. <laughs> I, so I texted to my husband. I was like, I really want this. That's awesome. Yes, wait, what is it? It's the Namaste. I can't remember what the name of it is, because again, I'm not as good at this as you are. What is it called? Jeanette? Oh, uh, Maker's Portfolio. That's really cool. Beat you to it. So anyway, we saw this at Stitches. It's a Turn Namaste. It there we go. Yeah. It's a Namaste bag. From that, Jimmy Bean's Wool. Yeah, they the Jimmy now, Beans right? is yeah, selling. And it's for, and I haven't even had time to put my stuff in it. Okay, so it's an interchangeable portfolio. Piece. Oh, that's cool. So it's really cool. So you can fit all your interchangeable points. And I like this because sometimes I have more than one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. size. Yeah, totally. And it fits, it'll fit at least, I think, two pair. Possibly, possibly three pair, but I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Um, and then you can put your wires over here, or you can put your um, regular non-interchangeable circulars in here. They will fit in here because there's all of these. That's nice. And so, do you have? Which is really nice. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. So that was really cool. And then on the other side, there's more um, for points. So this is awesome. So I love this. I was so excited, and then it came with. Stickers. I was going to ask you, how do you know what size? So yeah, if that's cool. So I'm going to put all my interchangeables in here first. And I think, I think I'll be able to fit all of my non-interchangeable needles in here. Did I say needles? Needles. In here too. Um, and then you put the sticker on the, on the thingy here. Lucky you. Oh, I'm that's so that's excited. Awesome. And then, um, and it comes, so it comes with the stickers and it comes with a little, oops. A little knitting notebook. And a little tapestry Oops, needle. Down. And a little tapestry needle. Be here knit now. So little little notebook to keep notes. And then um they were giving these away. Um I think this is um magnetic. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, so I gotta tell you. <laughs> my Apple Watch. Warren bought me this um band because it's magnetic. Yeah, yeah, and, I you have know, one of those. Oh my gosh, hold stitch markers and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Paper clips. Yeah, no, the knives, you know, I mean, but it, 
I'm using it for knitting. Yeah, I like my. I don't have. I'm not using it right now. I have this. You have leather magnetic band, too. but I have a magnetic yeah. one so, too, and I really yeah. like it. So it's very cool. So anyway, and then when I'm knitting a lot, it tells me that I've had some exercise. Yeah. <laughs> I doing the other day? Oh, I was yeah. winding yarn. Yes. Said, Are you exercising? Yeah. Are you on the elliptical? <laughs> yes. Winding yarn is now exercise. I love it. Yeah, knitting really, really fast. Yeah. Yeah, so, I can't knit that fast. It yeah. is not exercise for me. But but winding yarn. Yeah, that's that cranking that funny. ball winder. Crank that ball. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's exercise now. So anyway, so I got and then on the and then it has this little extra pocket on the outside, so that you can cool. put like so the did little. Did you choose the color? Or did I he did. Choose the color? I did. I did. And I mean, I wanted something that didn't look like it was trying to be something it wasn't, and it's got the little handle, which I haven't taken the plastic off of yet. Okay. So, what? What does that mean? Trying well, to... I wasn't trying to like. I didn't want something that was trying. I mean, because these trying are trying to be a purse. Yeah, these are um, not leather. It. These are pleather. Which, which is okay. Environmentally friendly. It's yeah. environmentally friendly, and it's gonna probably last a little bit longer than leather, considering how I treat some of my stuff. Um, and it's not as expensive as leather. Yeah. So, That's um, cool. so yeah. So, and I have girls, so I like pink. So anyway, so I really my Namaste portfolio. What is it? Maker's portfolio. So I was so excited. That's cool. So that's cool. Um, and then, now, I want to show you the one that I've been using. Okay, I tightened my watch a little bit too much. Okay, so I still really like this this um, interchangeable needle case as well, which is Chicken Boots. We bought this together. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll probably still use this too because I'm not sure that that'll fit everything. Um, so this will hold the extra. Right? And even if that does hold everything, that just means I have more space to get more. There you go. So, anyway. So, I love this one, too, because it holds all of the yeah, needles underneath. Yeah, it's a nice case. Yeah. And then it has um, four pockets for your um, cables. And then it's got the pocket on the outside for the, um, the toppers and casing. Stoppers. Yeah. And then also your little tighteners and everything. At least that's what I... The tighteners for what what needles are those? Uh, those are knitters Pride. Pride Dreams. Yes. So anyway, so I like that. Um, so yeah, so that. Do you want to go or should I keep going? Uh, where are we? Um, are we in dream? Oh, I did buy some yarn. I did too. Did you? You go first though. I did. I bought sock yarn because you know that's what I need, right? I don't know what possessed me to it's buy the this sock yarn. It's the first yarn you've bought in a while, though, because yes. you have not bought yarn you until this buy, week. Did you buy any yarn at Stitches besides the mohair? I did. I what have did it with buy? me. I'll show you. Oh, it with me. So I bought this yarn. I just fell in love did with the Did you buy color. it? No, it came like this, a little gobstopper. So I may knit them one at a time instead of two at a time. Um, mm. This is, I've never purchased yarn from her, but this is lollipop yarn in the yesterday colorway. And I just thought it was so beautiful. And it came with a That's little, uh, a little, toes and yeah, heels. heels, cuffs, toes, mini. And what was cool about it is I saw it on Instagram and she put up like a pre-sale. Mm -hmm. I ordered it, I think on Mother's Day and it arrived like within days. And it was the pre like died to order. I was like, how did you do that? She must have order even wow. Yeah, it was crazy. But I just I like the nice. Did it come in a little bag? It did. It came so in a little cute. bag. Yeah, like isn't that cool? So lollipop cute. yarn. I never it's super soft, so lollipop yarn. And she has her own website. Oh, so. why didn't you put her sign up? Uh oh. Ah! Sorry, Jeanette. We're <laughs> we're slack a third podcast in and we already are slackers. Yeah. So this is yesterday. It's um, let's see, four rows each. Reminisce, reflect, recollect, remember when, recall, retrospect, memory, bygones, past, and introspection. So she names every single every single color. stripe. Yeah, oh, color. fun. Yeah, it's four hundred and ten yards for hundred grams. Machine washable, eighty twenty. I like 80-20. Mm -mm -mm. 410 yards, that's a lot for 
socks, isn't it? No. No, for for 100 grams, 410 yards, no. Because no. you could have 460 yards and have it be lighter fingering. This is kind of, I think... Pretty average. Yeah, I think so. But I could mm -hmm. be wrong about that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I bought. Cool. Well, I, I don't always, I mean, obviously, always buy. I bought two. I bought some Plucky Primo Fingering in Bohemian Blue. Oh, that's beautiful. Because I want to do the cocoa. I just, you know me and smelling. I want to do the, is that too cold? Open the window. It's okay. All right. I'll get by. I, I was going to put my sweater back on because it is a little chilly. But I bought it in the Bohemian Blue. And I just, it's like washed. Make? and Well, I was thinking of the Coco's t-shirt. It's like a long, I talked about it last podcast. It's like a long sleeve t-shirt by Aerie. Is that her name? Uh, I'm liking more and more of her stuff. I'm really excited to do some of her stuff. Or a sweater by her. Yeah, Eri. E R I. Um, and I just I re I bought it for it's that beautiful. initially because it's got like a black wash to it and everything. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I didn't. I didn't realize that the black was so predominant. So it's I don't a little. Think that it, no, I don't think it is. It's a little darker than I thought. I it never would be. thought black. Really? Yeah, I saw it laying there, and I never thought black. To yeah. me, it's green. Green. Okay. Well, I was looking for blue. <laughs> uh, it's it's not to hold it the dark blue that I thought it would be. But that being said, I still no, it's love not dark it. blue. I yeah. mean, it's greenish blue. Yeah, it's beautiful. But I still love it. So bohemian blue. And I know that this because I'm so sensitive. I know that this won't bother me if it's a t-shirt. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I might. I bought enough to make the long sleeve t-shirt. I might just cool. stick with that. But I just, I love it. And are you on the plucky? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, on the, the, the. So that you get the updates? Yeah, I do. And then I did the, um, the app. Mm -hmm, and I have the app too. And I just love it. Um, I need to go online and put in, because they, they say that if you go either on their Instagram page or their Ravelry, group one of the mm. two of them you can kind of put in requests oh wow. and I really would love like primo dk um or worsted so that's I'm gonna do that next I really I'm gonna put in a request because they, they'll put in a request so that you can put in a request so that the next time they do an update they'll include hopefully your request in the update so I need to do that but I just I I I just continue to fall in love with their yarn. Yeah. So I need to, I, to the point where I feel bad, I need to like branch, branch out, out, but. Oh. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So anyway. So what's, is that in your queue or what's That's, in your dream knitting? So this is, so this is in my queue. Um, so this is the Coco long sleeve t-shirt by Aerie. Um, and then after living through the past few day, few weeks, of gloom. I mean, we've had rain in Mare in May. We never get rain in May. Well, I'm not complaining because God knows we can use the wet. I and kind of am complaining. I'm okay, we're going to complain a little bit, but you know what? It's good for the plants and the amount of money we're saving on it's water. It's not good for the strawberries, though. The I've cherries. Heard. Yeah. The cherries. The cherries end up bursting. And the strawberries, they like, they're. I've been still of able to buy are... the PK Farm strawberries. Yeah, from, but lots sorry, of crops are having problems yeah I, yeah yeah because they rot really quickly so it, it's kind of sad Which, for that perspective can i just say that that's really hard work picking strawberries an hour I, I, in i yeah. was like uh yeah. this is really hard no, are is. we done yet it is. you know yeah totally yeah no, totally yeah i can imagine spending and yeah people God pick our strawberries pickers. right yeah yes. God i agree pickers. but anyway so yes we love our living in the salad bowl of the world we we love our people that help pick our salad and everything True. else um, but that being said, I, so I have two things that are in my queue. Sorry, the dog wants a little love. Um, yeah, it's good she, that you, you she, specified that because yeah. it probably would look <laughs> odd just to see. Yes. She, she's coming up between the two of us like, hello. <laughs> she's looking, she's even looking at you. So anyway, <laughs> um, so the two things that are in my queue are, um, the share sweater, which I looked at C H E R. No, S H A R E, and it it. I was like, okay, that looks comfy, okay. cozy. Does it have a sunny, sunny and share. No, no. S H. Look at this. Who's that Does by? That, 
By Eri, E R I. Oh, okay, you like her. Yeah, this light is. It's that? Okay, maybe, maybe if I get closer. Anyway, yeah, we'll that's put better. it in the show. I I but look at how in. comfy, cozy that yeah, sweater that looks. Does. What's that? Is that Aaron weight or worsted? Um, or? It is. Close. I think it's worsted. DK. Oh. But I mean, it's like a whole bunch of ribbing. That's like what I need right that now. That looks super comfy. Doesn't that look mm -hmm. so comfortable? And it's top down, which I love because you can try it on and in the round. And I mean, it just, it looks like who cares even if you screwed it up? <laughs> You're just going to want to curl up in it to knit. Yeah. To sit yeah, by the fire and super knit. super cozy. So, I mean, and that would even be like a good summer. I mean, here for us in Monterey, it would even be a good summer sweater mm -hmm. at night outside. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm just, I think that might be my next one, but I need to find a DK that I want to do it in. So that's Dream Knitting 1. Dream Knitting 2. Okay, so I need your input. I think this is some like one of the funnest sweaters, but I'm not sure that it's necessarily for me if it's going to look good on my body type. I think it's so cute. And what is it called? Missoni? By Espace Tricot. Oh, Missoni accomplished. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, Is that's that fun. fun? But I'm afraid I'll look like Charlie Brown. But are you Charlie Brown? No. I never even thought of Charlie Brown. I just think it's so. You just cute. don't choose his colors. What is it? <laughs> yeah, red right. and red and black. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. No, but it's, it's really so cute. cute. Yeah, I think if you like it, make it. So like, who cute. Who cares about the? You know. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I know, but I've I've liked so many things and made them and then put them on and gone. Whoa, 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 well, I mean, they so. you want to feel good in them, but yeah. I also think like what kind of message do we send if we say everything has to be flattering to someone well, no. else? Well, no, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Like I knit that ranunculus sweater and I love that ranunculus sweater, but I know that it's not the most flattering on me, but well, I like it. I haven't seen it on you. You have. I wore it at Stitches West. But anyway, it doesn't matter. But anyway, like my point is, does everything have to be flattering? No. Like who are we trying to, we sure. should feel good in what we wear. Yes. Right? I guess my thing is, is I have a whole bunch of sweaters in my cabinet that I don't feel good in. <laughs> Just because well, they I don't. Too, they too have it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've gained weight. Yeah. So, but I like this and I like the fact that it's, you know, color work. But not, not but really not, major color work. Ooh. What was the name of that? Yeah, no, I'm not yeah. even going to try. No. Wait, it's, no, you showed anyway. it already. Um, What was the name of that? Wh which booth did we go to? I love their yarn in stitches that had the color work um, cardigan. Oh, it was it wasn't Western Sky Knits. Yes. Uh -huh. Western Sky Knits. Yeah, they're love their yarn. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I knit Catherine gloves, like full on gloves out of their yarn. It was beautiful wow. yarn. I love yeah. their yarn. So anyway, so I like that a lot. That's beautiful. So what that's colors would you do? I don't know. You know what? I would probably because again, with me and yarn, like Wool being so close to my skin and me being so sensitive. I've well, we'll see. Just we'll stopped and editor. now we're starting again. Yeah, we don't. So. We don't. Know. Anyway, editor, anyway. editor, where are you? Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think that Missoni accomplished sweater. I think I think that's you so should cute. do it. Like you don't know until you put it on, right? Right. Like that BB sweater that I made. I thought, eh, eh, but I put it on and I really like it. I don't remember which BB sweater. It's blue. It I wore it in our first podcast. It's blue oh. with like a funnel neck and yeah, a broken yeah, yeah, rib. Yeah. I yeah. really like that sweater. Yeah. I would knit that sweater no, no, again. Start. Well, you're much better at picking a good shape no, than I No, I don't think so. I think it's just, you don't know. Because, yeah, you don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think you don't know until you True. knit it. I yeah. think it looks like fun knitting. Fun and, yeah. and simple-ish. Yeah. -ish. So, and then my last dream knitting. <laughs> the squishy slipper socks by those look fun i think it's janie janie yagi mm -hmm. j-a-n-a-e so we look at these find the most are those patterns. adorable those are really cute those are like so cute and you know why i like them i like them because so they're garter stitch and i like them because they're in worsted and they wouldn't be hard to do no you just knit around knit Pearl. Yeah. Knit around, pearl around, knit around. Pearl yeah. Around, I mean, right? is that, but is that so cute and they're squishy? Yeah, that's cool. And, and look at the heel. The heel's kind of interesting. It says it has a deep heel, heel, heel. And I think you, 
so one piece is it toe up short row toe short row heel toe up oh. so the thing that i like about it is i could make it a, like a cuff maybe because mm -hmm. i did those other ones for macy so i just thought those were like the cutest things yeah that's cool you know let's see I'm doing that yeah i don't know gary can Ariel. He, he was, was really magic. good. He like he, he I don't watch. I can't watch. I know you can't. But I like go through fast forward through and he put in Yeah. Like yeah, he cut told in me. the he did a good job. He's yeah. Good job. So anyway, so those are my three things that I have in my queue. Well my dream knitting is yeah. still Leone by Julie Weisenberger. Uh, we've only podcasted three times this third time and I'm still talking about this darn sweater. I need to stop and start talking about something else. Uh, I know, right? <gasps> you know what I wanna oh. find too? I wanna to find a um cocoon sweater. Oh, I have some cocoon patterns in my favorites. I know, I need I to go into look the cocoons in. for a while. Yes. So oh, I started not look at that. I started not swatching because like I'm not worried about gauge, but just trying to get the right fabric. And so this is the yarn. It's to, is this the I'll one use. from Church Mouse? Yeah. Well, I no, saw the knits. woman oh, wearing. Right, right, right. That's it's, right. That's right. Yeah, it's a cocoa knits pattern, but I saw right. the woman who works for Church Mouse wearing it, and it's ta Taki Ripple is the yarn, and it's thick and then thin. Like I don't know if you can see it, so it's going to be annoying to oh, knit. Wow. And I think it's 100% cotton. Which is like so yarn I would not typically buy. So so far, again, I'm not really swatching for a gauge, but I'm just swatching for fabric. So this is on tens, which a lot of people that have knitted it have knitted it on tens. And I felt like that might be too loose, but then I got to eights and that was I switched to eights and that seemed too too small. Like if you see the knit stitches, they're they seem too small. So then I went to nines. And so we'll see. I just haven't spent any time figuring it out. But I'll start that in the next little bit. Wow. That, you know, that almost looks like a piece of art. Abstract art. I'm going to have to get so used cool. to the the not even stitches. Mm -mm. So that'll be interesting. And that's basically, you know, it's bottom up. But it's simple. Bottom up. It's going to be so cute when you're done. Yeah. I predict I'll, that you I'll wear, wear it a lot. It, I will wear it a lot. Um, that's so cute. Where did you... Get the yarn again. Stitches or, West. When I was with but you. What? Who? Who is it? Ta T T A H K I Taki. From which ripple? Did you from Webs. From? It was on closeout. <gasps> right, 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 right. Like yeah. on closeout. Yeah. And so it's this is some dark so gray cute. color, which I try not to wear gray very much anymore because since I let my hair go gray, I it's gonna look fine. But it'll be fine. It's we all agreed at dark. the time. It can't we be all agreed at the time. Remember, we held yes. it up to me and. Yes. Yeah, it can't be like Yeah, <laughs> so that's that. And then I have been obsessed with a new pattern called the Sunday Tea. It's by Petite Knit, and we'll have to, I'll have find it. it I, and I will look. Gary can put look. it in there, but um, Coco. I've been obsessed with Coco. this pattern. She uh -huh. has like this. She had the Sunday cardigan before. Now, now it's the Sunday Tea. Mm -hmm. So I ordered yarn for that. Coco's I, getting in the act. Yeah, yeah. No T E -E. T E. Yeah, like summer tea. But it's Sunday tea. Ah, got it. There it is. That one. This one? Yeah. Oh, I have it in my favorites. How oh, funny that's is funny. that? That's hilarious. See? So I've been obsessed with this. Um, so I ordered yarn for it. I ordered it's a wool cotton. They made it in a wool cotton. Really cute. So I oh my god. <laughs> Too the dog's like, I keep loving on me. Keep petting me. Um, you are spoiled. She is. So Sorry. I, so I ordered Holtz Garn Coast yarn, which I heard about this yarn from the Yarniacs audio podcast. And the Yarniacs live, what, forty-five minutes, a half an hour really? from here in Santa Cruz. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and they do an audio podcast and have for several years. And I heard about it from them. So it's a. 55% wool, 45% cotton yarn from, mm -hmm. I think, Denmark. And I was going to order it from okay. Denmark, but they were out of the color I wanted. So I ordered it from the yarnery in Minnesota. What color did you get? Blue. It's called J. You know, I'm not really a blue person. Interesting that I'm wearing blue mm -hmm. and my BB was blue. But since mm -hmm. I let my hair go gray, I really am trying to be more careful about 
who looks good with your eyes. Yeah, and, and the hair, it all works. And right. so I'm trying to be more careful about wearing right. colors that rather than just gray, all the time gray. A lot, I have a lot of gray in my right. closet. But So I'm excited to start that, which will be completely different than this knitting so mm -hmm. I could have both of those on the needles at the same time and they won't make me crazy yeah, because that'll that'll make you crazy after a while but the, and this is a small this is just God. stockinette in in the round so it's not it's mindless but the texture is weird yeah this and on a big needle and this one uh the Sunday tea is on a small needle with easy knitting yarn but it's a small needle so it's going to go slower yeah. I think me. you're going to get that one done quickly I think so too so yeah. I just have to work yeah. my way through the big love right so and then uh I've been obsessed with socks for some reason and so then I I, I know the reason you just obsessed with socks period I don't know why you got a book wow oh, I've had this book for a long time okay. so my next sock knitting project I plan that I plan. And don't we all? Do you, don't, do you remember? No. Don't knitters no. all plan like plan, all the projects socks. way in advance? It's I do, but you me. know what I figured out is that if I plan them way in advance, inevitably I don't do them. Well, that's okay. It, isn't it the fun just to think about it? So I'm thinking of doing these, which are those are nice. Yeah, I mean, there's what nothing a, like a rib, special a about rib? them. I don't know. There's nothing special no, about them. Oops. If you should have a really interesting. Oh, Gary. Oh, that's right. Gary's yeah. going to have to edit that. Edit the pattern out. He's going to have to, like. This is the Sock Architecture book by Lara Neal. And um, Chevy Rell, who drinks tequila and knits, like, she's going to. She would be my best friend. <laughs> um, <laughs> she knits. Oh, she's having a mall. Uh, no, a book. A book make along. So if you make something from a book, oh, a mall, got it. Yeah, if you a book make along, got it. So, yeah. So that's why I chose. I thought, oh, I'll knit a sock from my book and be like, I can enter her mall. It's a good idea. And we can share our favorite tequila drinks. <laughs> Just yeah. yes. So that's okay. where I'm at good. for dream knitting. Good, good. Um. Yeah, I don't have anything. Oh, you know what I forgot to pull out? Ooh, shoot. My gadget. I forgot to dig that out of my... Oh, do you want me to pull out mine? Do you have yours with you? Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, oh. oh good. Okay. Here's the gadget of the podcast. You have to show it, though, because I, I can't know, see. I know, I know, I know. The gleaner, the... What is it? You have the, the travel gleaner. On the go. Gleaner. You have the travel oh, gleaner. On the go. On the go travel. You, okay, so you can get it from Jimmy Beans. Look at that. I've even got stuff hanging from it um i got this from stitches but you can get it from jimmy beans Did you get it from mimi's needle basket i think stitches? so uh -huh. yes i think so and um or you can get it from jimmy beans it's 13 dollars online and the really cool thing about it is is that it comes with different what would to you be call honest, these i like different blades. heads different blades yeah to be honest, I have the regular gleaner, and to be honest, I think the travel gleaner is awesome. It's yeah, like I mean, all... this is like a very um, delicate surface. Um, I think the one that I have on you is the most. Glean me. I will glean you. This is the most <laughs> rough. My cashmere sweater. <laughs> and this is probably in between. I don't know. Would you say that's in between? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. Um, and it's got like little directions and you can swap out the blades by just sliding them out. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. So Lucy wants one for her ah, inexpensive. Lucy the firstborn. Lucy the firstborn. Yeah, so, and then it's also got the, um, the lint remover in case you have a cat, which, you know, um, don't have a cat, but for some reason I have all kinds of lint on it. So anyway, so this is the gadget of the podcast. Um, this and my only one papers. gadget per podcast. You, you know, know my I, rules. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I was really close to introducing a third gadget, no. but I was really, really good. You know, so, Jeanette will lose her mean. mind if <laughs> here if <laughs> hold up your underarm so I can glean you. <laughs> I will lose my mind if we don't follow the I rules. Know. You know, right? But look at. Look at all. Oh, that's of that. awesome! Isn't that great? Okay, can we okay, move to the other only side? Only half gleaned. You have to glean the rest of me. Okay. Okay. Mm. Cool. Look at that. 
Woohoo! Anyway, yeah, so love the gleaner. Cool. This is really great, especially if you're doing Probably a lot of. Everyone in the world has, in the knitting world, has one. Well, you know what? I've tried a lot of them, and I, I like this one the most. I have Same, same. I, like I have bought yeah. multiple I've ones. I've got the little one that's got shaped like red this. One that looks kind yeah. of like a big toothbrush. This no. one's and Lucy was even like, "Mom, can you get me one?" And you know, I was like, "Well, we'll see." But <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, no, this is the one that I like the most. Here, this is what the, what is, oh, just this gleaner. Yeah. So anyway, and they have all different designs on Jimmy Beans. Like they've got an orange one. They've got one no, that looks not. all. Mine is so boring. No, I know. Yours, but it does have a little bag. It came in oh. a little bag. But I bought mine. Do you have the travel one or the? No, I have the real. They didn't the... even have the travel one. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back when the I day. bought mine. I was oh. the OG gleaner person. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that's the, the gadget for the Yeah, that's podcast. very cool. And then, um, what else? What else do you what have? Else? I think everything I, else is... I do not have anything else. Um, gold stars. We need to come up with a better word than I gold know, stars. I know, I know. It's from the um, Happiness, Happy, Happier with Gretchen Rubin podcast, which is an awesome podcast. We need to, like, gold, but... what is it? Gold, Golden Fleece Awards. You know, <laughs> reminds I, me of... I always, I watch so many podcasts and yeah, listen yeah. because in, when I'm in the car, when I can't sleep... I turn on audio podcasts. I'm yes. I've been watching Chelsea Pearl. Oh yeah. Who we oh, ran she's... into at Stitches. Oh yeah, that was pretty funny actually. She's she's we didn't just run Jersey into her. Girl. She was yeah, that's right. <laughs> she was in the, the room next door. Yeah. I'm like, I think I hear, I think I recognize you that You thought you recognized the voice, and I was like, I recognize that Jersey. voice. I can tell from the accent, and she's talking about exits and all that. I mean, it was, and then she ended up sitting behind us. I know, poor thing. I think she felt terrible. Girl, no, but no, but she, I think she thought it was hysterical. So, I hope so. Anyway, I do, I, I do watch their podcast. It's, well, it's we have like, to message her and tell her to come back out to Stitches West and we'll yeah. have a reunion. Well, there. we're going to go to Stitches Midwest. <gasps> Can you even believe it? I'm I've never so been. Excited. So I'm excited. So excited. Yes. Yeah, I'm super so, excited. Yeah, I'm super excited. So Amy, my niece, and Dina, my sister, and Joan, and me, we're going to go to Stitches Midwest. So super excited about yes. that. So excited because, yeah, I mean. Never been. We've been I've to never, Stitches West so many times. but The only time I've ever been to that state is to get on a different plane. Oh, no way. Wait. Oh, we're so going to. Oh, I'm so oh, excited. I feel like, I oh, like, no, but you're not going to get, like, Chicago. Oh, that's, okay. that's so sad. No. Should we add extra days we and could. spend time in Chicago? We could. That'd be pretty awesome. Since pretty much the family's doing a staycation, it'd be nice for mom to get a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> like, Stitches so. West isn't enough of, or Stitches Midwest isn't enough of a vacation. But, so we will be in Schaumburg, Illinois. Um. Yeah, it's super exciting. I'm so excited. Very yeah. excited. It's going to be great. It's, it's going to be fun timing to knit. for work, I just realized. Oh, no. But thank God that for sucks. Juan. I need to knit him socks or something because I don't know what Aren't I would... you knitting his cousin or brother or somebody? Brother, hat? but I haven't started. From the belly of the muskox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Kavit. 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 I bought the yarn, but I haven't started that. Exactly. I need to figure out the sizing and all of that. But yeah, yeah I, I, I owe him for not... for me being gone at that time but anyway that's a full other story yeah so super excited about so. stitches midwest yes, i was thinking about fun. going to there's like spinning and weaving at the winery in livermore which is about oh. i don't know 75 miles from here on saturday oh. and i was thinking about doing that but i honestly i don't think but that's I spinning and drive. weaving i don't know that i mean i don't think i want to learn to spin I think it's really cool. I just don't think I have the brain space I think it's, right now. You know what? I, I don't want to. I think I would do dilute my knitting. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you you I, I only you have buy, so much time. You buy the fiber and then you spin the fiber and then what do you do with it? You have to knit it, right? So I don't think I'm into spinning. Although I could, it's very meditative, which is like soft I, knitting you to know me. What? So I could get that. I have all kinds of respect for people that do. Yeah. I just I have so. I mean, maybe after all the kids are out of the house, I just yeah. have such a limited amount of time Yeah. that the time that I have, I want to spend doing something that, like, I'm not having to relearn. Like, it's enough that I have to, like, learn for a pattern yeah, and take a sleeve out and put it back to together again. Yeah. yeah. No, that's so, fair. But maybe, like, and, you know, the other thing that I like to do that I haven't done in years is needlepoint. 
Oh, I've like. never done. That's one thing oh, I've never done. I really done enjoy counter cross stitch and all of that. Counter but. cross stitch I've done makes my eyes cross, but um, needle. I mean, and I like it, but I I like wa looking at it more than I like doing it. But needlepoint I really enjoy. But yeah, one of these days when the kids one are of these days all yeah. out of the house and I have time to sit around and for now it's only knitting. thing is we got to figure out a way to burn more calories while we're knitting. Right. Because right. sitting and knitting tends to... Winding, ball winding. <laughs> My watch thinks I'm exercising, so... <laughs> oh, I gotta get something else for Dan. But anyway, anyway, so moving on. Okay, so gold so stars we did. Gold stars gold for, stars for I mean... Uh, Do you have anybody? I love yeah. lots of knitting. You go, because I, I watch all kinds of knitting podcasts. Oh, I wasn't going to say about knitting. I said about people that I love. Oh, you So I just that. wanted to say that my girls are awesome. So my oldest one is home after a successful sophomore year at college. So it's nice to have her home. It'll probably be the last summer, which um, is mixed emotions because you want them to, you know, go off and be successful. But you're saying goodbye to a whole part of your, yeah, you know. I do know. Anyway, so yes, you do. Anyway, so then the other two just successfully completed um, their competition season and their class season and everything in dance, and they did amazingly. Um, both girls finished on a high because Cecilia took first overall in her last competition. Macy had got a special judges award, and she scored really, really high in her last competition, so it was all great. And they've they've been placed on their next teams, so good way yay to start for your them. Summer. So yes, I have to start knitting more leg warmers, so that they're nice and comfy, cozy as they're dancing. Yeah, and, yeah. Can't get my so, mind around the fact that it's almost June because it's so gloomy and terrible. And not that it would be hot. Well, but we still have to get through June gloom. June gloom. Yeah, the yeah. summer in this area is. Well, like, June isn't. My least favorite. August is. Well, July we is we kind of live in a little bit more of a sunshine area, but yeah, it's yeah. September that we get more sun. But it's you know what? We're not getting floods. Again, our yes, hearts go out true. to the people that are being that's flooded. That's true. It's true. You know, God bless you. Uh, you know, send us that's some true. water. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking, why do we need pipelines to oil? We need pipelines to water from California, but. You know, um, but you know, our hearts go out to you. We hope that you guys all get through it. And um, we'll see yeah. you. Well, yeah, stitches wet, stitches Midwest, Midwest. which is August 1st. Yay! So, super yeah. exciting. But we'll see you before that. Hopefully, we'll do another podcast in the next well, couple of weeks. Of course, and I'll have we will. Something done. We committed to it. Of course, we will. It's a rule. <laughs> I'm like, it's a rule. It's we a rule. We gotta do it. <laughs> Jeanette's the one who's calling me up. What are we doing it? <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> It's all good. Okay, it's all good. we did it. We did it again. Thank you so, for thank any you. that Absolutely. are still hanging with us, talking about goals, mating, yes. and condor spree mating. And, and <laughs> three, I've made it enough. <laughs> <laughs> and weather and all the non nitty things we've talked about. So thank you for hanging with us. We really appreciate yes. it. It's, thank you. We're oh 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 oh, oh I forgot oh, to oh, say what what. But I posted in our Ravelry group that if anyone wants to exchange mini skeins, mm -hmm. 10 grams mm -hmm. or 20 grams, let me just just message me or put it in Ravelry right. on the group and we can do that. I'll, I'll do all the organizing of it because that would be fun. Yeah. And, you know, our whole thought was to make a little community. So if right. any of you are going to Stitches Midwest, let Come us know. Us. Say hi. Yeah, let us know. That would so, be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, little knitting community. So, so. Yes. and yeah, I met somebody who knits oh. at, at someone else's house. I forgot her name. I hope she's not watching. I hope <laughs> no, she's I watching. <laughs> but she. But we're gonna do a knit night. So <gasps> yeah. fabulous. Stay tuned. Knit night. Yeah, yeah. If you ever find yourself in this yeah. area, knit that would night. be kind of funny, like turning on the the live stream and just sitting around. The live stream coming. Yeah, but no, I was thinking like knitting at the museum. <gasps> That'd be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? We can knit our little gold decoy. Gold. <laughs> there Watch you all go. the goals from yeah, the gold decoy. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be pretty. Okay, well, thank we you. We need to sign off now. Thank you. I think the wine right. is getting to us. All right. Bye. Bye. See you in a couple weeks.